Good morning. Uh, you are precariously balanced on my monopod. <gasps> I'm going to make smoky mushroom fajitas this morning for breakfast. And I'm going to top them with greens. And it's so good because we had, I know it's so good because we had it for dinner last night. Oh, so amazing. And I told Charlie I was going to make them this morning. And he was like, oh yeah, let's eat those for breakfast. So, um, I got one more thing to get out of the refrigerator. I just realized I left the greens in the fridge. And then I'm going to show you what I did to make the smoky mushrooms. Oh, okay. musical right there. All right, let me get my greens out. Greens, where you be? Beautiful greens. Oh, and I need to open up my iPad so I can see because I can't read that far. I see Karen D telling me good morning. Ba, 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 password. I need to go to YouTube. YouTube. Please stand by. Please take this moment to thumbs up this video. Subliminal messaging right there. And if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe right now. <gasps> Woo, there we go. Hey, 37 people watching, but I've only got five thumbs ups. Um, I need more thumbs ups. Oh, look at all these beautiful people that are on. Thank you. Thank you. Freedom. I'm loving it. Loving it. Okay. All right, this is a griddler recipe. For all those of my for online friends who have the Griddler 5-in-1, you can't see it, it's out of frame at the moment, but I'm going, uh, this is a recipe just for you. This is easy to put together. Remember, last Saturday, I shared with you that smoky greens sauce that I was squirting on my greens. Did y'all write that down? If you need to. I doubled it and I did something different uh, this morning. Okay, you know how in that, in the smoky green sauce, I suggest that you put the sweet uh, chili paste in there. It could be optional, but I really like it. It is hot if you put too much in the sauce, but um, if you get it just right, which I think one teaspoon for one, for a half a cup of this sauce is a nice balance. It doesn't add too much heat, but it does add a, light, a nice note. Um, anyways, I was, the problem I was running into is, uh, the, the chili flakes kept getting stuck in my squeeze bottle causing congestion. And so this morning my brain woke up and said, Hey, run it through the Nutribullet. So I ran this through the Nutribullet and it, it makes it a little frothy here on top, but it's slowly returning to normal. And I've got all those chili flakes all ground up now, so I shouldn't have any more congestion. So there's the, the first tip. You're welcome. So let's see how that works out. <gasps> William says he loves me. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, all these people loving my haircut. Thank you. I am loving it too. Okay, come on. Let's get busy on this. Now here's what I did yesterday that I, I'm not doing this morning, but I want you to do is um, I want you to marinate your mushrooms when you make this, okay? I'm making this on the fly, but what I did yesterday is I had three big portobello mushrooms and I scraped the gills out and then I sliced the mushrooms about a half an inch thick and then laid them in a flat plastic container and emptied an entire recipe of the smoky green sauce over the mushrooms and then I took a small onion, small yellow sweet onion and cut that up into uh, about, it's about the same thickness, a uh, fourth inch to half inch slices and I put those on top of the onions and then I just left that out on the counter and that sat out on the counter for probably about four hours and then um, and then I threw those on the griddler and, and we cooked those up and man, I'm telling you, that was really good to have those marinated mushrooms. So this morning, 
I, I haven't made time to do all that. We're gonna, I'm just going to see what happens and see what kind of flavors I get if we just kind of cook on the fly. So, okay. Huh. Um, what's the first thing I want to do? First thing I want to do is I want to coat uh, my mushrooms with this sauce for a second or two before I put them on the griddler. It, um, I, I bought sliced mushrooms this week um, and I've already rinsed off all the con uh, all the peat moss that gets stuck to them. And so this is, uh, I didn't take off any stems. These are those little brown mushrooms, little baby portobellas or whatever. So those are uh, already cleaned up. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, the smoky green sauce. You'll find this recipe in last week's Saturday live meetup here. It, what did I call it? Smoky what did I call it? Annette, she's my, she helps me. It's smoky green sauce or, what did I call it? Yeah, I called this one smoky green sauce, Jill's barbecue sauce, and the yogurt mayo video. There's three recipes in that video. It's not very long. Uh, you'll get it in there. If you just go to that video and look right underneath the video in the show more box, all three of those recipes are in that description box. So you can just copy and paste it from there. Again, you're welcome. Okay, and then I have a yellow onion that I've already sliced up. I'm gonna throw that on top. And I'm gonna give, I'm gonna just lather this cremini mushrooms. Yes, yummy, yummy, yummy. That's what these are called. Baby portobellos, cremini. Same, same. All right, let's see how this worked out. <laughs> I've got all this froth right here. And I'm just squirting this over the top. Again, yesterday, I, I uh, that smoky greens recipe, I used the whole recipe, and it, because of my container, it was able to marinate about half the mushroom in, you know, three portobello mushrooms just fine and I had plenty of sauce left over that I used to drizzle over the mushrooms as they cooked so that was helpful <gasps> get up one spoon okay I'm gonna let those get jiggy for just a minute I want to cut up my veggies that I want to put on top while we're talking dun, 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 dun. okay there we go Way to stick that right there. I have my griddler going. I'm gonna tilt you, tilt you down just a little bit. I want you to see the counter and see what's going on. Thank you, Robin. Pull you back just a little bit. I'm gonna pull you in uh, when they start cooking. Okay. Uh, and here's my greens. Let me show you my greens. Oh, you can see some of the mushrooms I had yesterday. So um, in my greens bowl here, this is just a mixture. Uh, from the freezer that I put together myself it was um, it's a bag of frozen greens that I just kind of keep up in the refreezer and we scoop out of and eat as we go but it starts out being a bag of frozen chopped spinach a bag of chopped collard greens and a, a large yellow sweet onion chopped up and then I toss that all together put it in a big one gallon freezer bag and then we just scoop out of it as we go and then I um, I pull it out of the uh, when I when I'm ready to eat it I just scoop out however much I want to eat and then I've been seasoning it with my that smoky green sauce um, and then I microwave it for about five minutes uh, I do give it a little splash of water just to create some steam in the microwave but about five minutes does it and then I just throw that on the side of whatever I'm eating it's also, the frozen green bag is also great for making quick curries or the nights when we want to have like a pollock paneer. Uh, instead of using fresh spinach, I'll just get out that frozen, uh, hit it with some hot water to thaw it out real quick, squeeze it dry, and then I throw it right into my curry sauce. So that's really good too. So it's really fun. I'm really having fun um, just having this pre-mixed 
greens bag in my in my freezer ready to go in anything that I'm in the mood to eat. So anyways, I hope you try that. And then if you do, please let me know how that works for you. Okay, let me get busy on this. I need to make a little bit of sauce for the top. I don't have a bowl. I need a bowl. Got a little bowl. Okay, for my topping, I'm just gonna, I've got a couple of green onions here. I'm gonna throw those in there because I like green onions on top of my fajitas. Did you see me look away? That was dangerous. I'm living on the edge, baby. Dangerous woman. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But I promise I'll pay attention so I don't cut my fingers off. Have to call me nine cups, nine finger jelly. All right, there's that. I have some, found some pretty tomatoes at the grocery store yesterday. Was happy about that. They are in good shape. They're pretty. They were in a whole bunch of packaging, which I wasn't thrilled about that, but they were the best looking tomatoes and they are good. Mmm, tastes like tomatoes. Tomatoes are so hard to find. Good tomatoes are hard to find at the grocery store. I always threaten that I'm going to grow them every year. And then I have got the squirrels for them. Ah. Hold on just a second. This won't take me but just a minute. But it's okay. While we're cutting up these veggies, those the mushrooms are getting busy in that smoky green sauce. Can you see all right? You can. Arr. Can you believe I'm looking away and cutting at the same time? That is crazy. I am a wild woman. All right, hold on. I'm going to plan that. i got to get those tomato seeds off my cutting board. Hold on. I don't want tomato seeds in my cilantro. Okay, and then I'm just going to cut off a little cilantro, add some green fun to my fajita. Kind of making a lazy pico de gallo. Oh, and you know what I did yesterday too? To the topping here, I have, I'm going to show you this. This is good. I wanted to add a little heat to my pico de gallo topping, topping and I have those tame jalapeno peppers. Do y'all have those? The Mazetta tame jalapenos, which are really good, but they're already packed in vinegar and I didn't have a fresh jalapeno. But I did have this coriander chutney, which is really spicy, and I gave my pico de gallo just a little drop of this and it added such a nice fresh heat. Oh my gosh, if you have any of this on hand, or if you are, you know, have an Indian grocery store nearby. This is super spicy, but man, it's a nice bright heat uh, to add to your greens. So good. So, that was something fun that I discovered, just on a whim. Living on the edge, baby. Okay. Alright, that's close enough. Okay. And then... I did something that I should have done. I don't understand why I didn't do this a million years ago, but I did. Y'all may already do this, but I don't do this. And I did this for the first time yesterday, and I was like, why haven't I done that for the last 40 years of my cooking? No, well, not 40 years. I started cooking when I was in eighth grade. What's that, 14 years ago? I mean, I was 14 years old. I'm 50 now. Anyways, it's been that long. Okay, so here's what I did. I was Cut the avocado like we all cut the avocado. Twist that off. Okay. And then, you know how normally I go like this? I was always taught on TV to go this way, and then you go this way, and then you take it the spoon and you scoop it out. Okay. Now, yesterday, I was like, let me just cut off the ends of the avocado. Okay. This works when the avocado's right. And then just peel the skin off. What? Why didn't I think of that? Why? And then, look at this. Look how easy this is. This is a 
ripe avocado. It's not hard. Look how easy this is. Like by cutting off the ends, I can just peel that skin right off. Where have I been? <gasps> the I'm going to leave this other one like it is. So I don't plan on eating it right away. And now I can slice it up. I was like, this is how they do it. This is how they do it, do it. Now I can make those pretty little avocado slices that I always see on Pinterest. And I think, how do they do that? Except I don't want slices. I, this is helping me control the size of the avocado. Yum, yum, yum. I actually want to throw that in my topping over here. Oh. Boop. Okay, I can tell I can feel that my griddler is hot. Okay. Alright, we're done with that. Let me get this out of the way. Ow. use a wooden spoon so I don't scratch my surface oh okay this is kind of mixed up I didn't mean to do this I'm this is the flat side yesterday I used the flat side of the griddle pan and this is the uh, panini side they're mixed I didn't mean I didn't do that I didn't mean to do that I'm not doing that on purpose Stick these on here and I just crowded the mushrooms yesterday, y'all. Because the, I'm using this griddler, and it's going to cook the top and the bottom at the same time, I, it is perfectly okay. I'm claiming it perfectly okay to crowd the mushrooms. And you think, oh, no, it's not going to fit. It fits. Definitely three mushrooms fits. This is all going to shrink down. I got the courage to crowd my panini pan, I mean this griddler pan, uh, when I was watching Jane and Ann Esselstyn, have y'all, are y'all watching Jane Esselstyn's um, YouTube channel? Her and Ann are such a hoot. I love them. And they were making hash browns, giant hash browns in their griddler. And I was like, look how they just pile those potatoes in there. So Max and I have been doing that, piling up the hash browns in our griddler. And man, it's no big thing. Okay, there we go. Now let's close the lid. And let's let that, let's let that get busy for about eight minutes. Bum, 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 bum. Anyway, I love them. If you have not checked out Jane Esselstyn, her YouTube channel, go over there and subscribe. They're making some great stuff. They're basically showing off the um, Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease Cookbook uh, recipes, uh, and then kind of winging it from there. So anyways, it's really cool. Very inspiring, very funny. Uh, I'm just going to take the 
into this lemon. Make sure there's no seeds in it. I see you seed. Get out. You're not welcome, Tia. You're not welcome in my topping. Okay, there we go. Hey! Hey! Got past me. Oh my goodness, so pretty! That works. That'll do it. Alright, and I'm just giving this a toss. And that's it. That's all for the topping. Oh, I could add uh, garlic to this, but it's breakfast. I don't want garlic in my garlic breath for breakfast. I'll save that for dinner. Even though it's quite good. Not garlic breath, but this with garlic. Okay, there. I don't want to over stir it. It'll turn mushy green. Okay, look. Oh, how pretty. Yum, 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 yum. You want to buy it? You know you want to buy it. What else? this here. Let's get that out of the way. This out of the way. I need to warm up my greens. Ooh. I got a little mess going on on my counter. I got some drippage in the back. I wish I could show you. The juices off the mushroom, the mushrooms are draining off in the back, so make sure that your little drip tray on your griddler is lined up. Mine was not. So it's making a mess. And that smoky green sauce has molasses in it, so be prepared for stickiness as this stuff cooks through. All right. I want to heat up some of these greens. So I have some hot greens on the top of my fajita. Um, yesterday, last night I had, I was rocking, uh, one flour tortilla with the mushrooms and onions, and then I was rocking a corn tortilla just filled with the greens. Mine was good, baby. I'm just making enough. I just need enough of this moment. This magic moment. messes on my counter. <laughs> Hyperventilating. <laughs> my my counter doesn't look like the clean counters on television. Oh no. Alright, now I gotta clean that one more time. Okay, let's get that. Oh my gosh. I have had trouble with sugar ants. Is anybody Experiencing, ah, experiencing that. Oh my gosh, they are such royal pains. Oh, this is so hot and icky. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to clean this when this all cools down. Come on, I can't take it. See that mess? Oh, can you see that mess? What a mess! Make sure that drip pan is lined up. Oh my word, gross. Leona is asking me if I'm going to Veggie Fest this coming October. Veggie Fest where? Who's Veggie Fest? What'd she say? Touch your griddler when it's cooking. It's hot. It's really hot. Oh my gosh. Mrs. Is... Okay. That's good. Good enough. Mm -mm. Okay, let's peek. Oh, baby. Not time. Mosquitoes. I had some mushrooms. Where did I get mosquitoes? 
Why did I want to say mosquito? All right, these mushrooms escaped out the back. Get them. Get back in there. Oh, my. you were here. It would be awesome if you were here. Happy Voice is asking me if I'm vegan. Uh, not not to the to the degree of perfection. No. I like to I like to label myself plant based. I'm not vegan because I kill mosquitoes. I step on bugs. I'm not entirely uh, pro pro life. When it comes to wild, to the uh, critter, to the flying critters, uh, uh, no, I'm plant-based. That's it. But I do care. I just can't live up to the perfection of veganism. So to take the stress out, I call myself plant-based. Thank you, Annette, for being the wonderful admin that you are. I just want everyone to recognize that Annette here in the chat room is the admin. If there, uh, if you have any questions about when I'm going to be on or a past video, Annette is. Uh, she, you can ask her if I don't catch your question. Uh, she's my, she's my right arm here online. <laughs> she's, uh, She's always helping me out, and I love her. I love her. I love my net. I, I couldn't. I couldn't do. She. She takes care of me. She really does, and I'm so appreciative of that. So, uh, if you have any questions, ask her, and uh, uh, all that good stuff. Period. Well, dot dot dot. Girardi family says big fan. Yeah, she's good with those trolls, man. Boom. She says, keep out those weirdos. Just keep the good weirdos. Okay, I'm going to look again. I like weirdos. I will not lie. Oh, my gosh. Can y'all see that? Oh, baby. Oh, these look good. The onions look tender. I need my oven mitts. Hold on. There we go. Oh, beautiful for smoky fajitas. I will stick in my face. Mmm. But just before I fill my tummy, I will say grace. And I'm making this stuff up as I go. Okay, let's eat. Those look good. Oh my gosh. Y'all want a close up? Get in here. Oh, look at that. Sing together. Oh, beautiful. Mmm, look at that. It's amazing. So, see how, look at my griddler. It's a little sticky. The molasses in that smoky green sauce gets sticky. So, you're going to have to soak your pan afterwards, but this is totally worth it. Oh, let's flip these over. Hold on. Come a little bit closer, you my kind of gal. So big and so strong. Come on, come here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Where's my spoon go? All right, let's flip these bad boys over. Or bad girls. Or both. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> Ooh, baby. And did you see we had a big pile of mushrooms before? Oops. Okay. Oh, let me turn this off. Cooking is over. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Baby. Mmm. Ooh, da 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 da. Da 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 da. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, yeah, baby. Golly. Is it legal to have so much goodness this early in the morning? Oh, let's make some fajitas, baby. Let's do it. Oh, I need to warm up my corn tortillas. Come on. Ten more seconds. 
I've got my corn tortillas, my oil-free corn tortillas in the microwave for 10 seconds. Oh, beautiful. Num, 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 num. Oh, I can't wait to eat. I'm hungry. Okay, that's good enough. That's good enough. Woohoo! Hot. Hot, hot, hot. Shoo. Oh, they look all bleached out. That's white corn, but it's not that white. Can we do this? No, it won't let me. All right. Woo. These are hot, hot, hot. Okay, let's do it. Let's put, oh, you know what we need? We need a little yogurt. Oh my gosh. Let's get the yogurt out. The soy unplain, I mean the unplain, the plain unsweetened soy yogurt. Oh, baby. This has been in my fridge for about two weeks. It is good and sour. This will hold the greens on. I'm sorry it's all bleached out. Oh, my goodness. Can you see that? I'll back up the camera, and then it'll stop bleaching out. Hold on just a second. You back that up. Hold on. Be still. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. Stay right there. Hold on. I'll turn down my light a little bit. There we go. Now you can cheat the yogurt. Stop bleaching out the camera. Can you see that all right? That helps? Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, let's do. I want my greens on bottom. Oh, beautiful. Fajitas. Sorry, I'm just daydreaming about keeping, shoving these in my face. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, I like a nice balance of mushrooms and onions. Oh my gosh, look at that. Hot, 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 I'm so hot. That, ooh, look how brown that one is. Ooh, I'm gonna eat that. Oh, this is good. Okay, I can't overstuff it. I always wanna overstuff it and then I get it so fat I can't get it in there. Oh, don't forget this. Don't forget our color. Oh, baby. Let's get that in there. I don't know where Charlie Bear is. I think he might be upstairs. Give me some tomato. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was good enough. Okay. Oh, I hear somebody coming downstairs. No, maybe not. Get some. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Are we dying? Are y'all dying? What are we there, eating? There's my Charlie Bear. Oh, that looks good. Doesn't that look at me? Hold on. I'm going to zoom out. Mm. It's going to be hot. Hold on. Got to get us in camera. Oh, uh, my Charlie Bear's back from Bali. <gasps> He's so tall. I got to get this way up high. Okay, there we go. I think we're both... I'm cutting your head off. Hold on just a second. Sorry. You're so tall. Alright, well, stay still. Huh? Ah. Are you there? Yeah, we're there. Okay, there we go. Alright, grab one. Mm. Breakfast. We have more. Oh, these are beautiful. Aren't they fun? Oh, eat fast or you're probably going to fall It smells so good down here, too. Cheers! Cheers! Kissing fetus. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. We need a plate. This mm -hmm. right there. There's a big one right there. Mm -hmm. Just see it over the cutting board. Mm. Oh my god, you don't have to do this. Mm. Mm, those were better than yesterday. Would so you... that didn't make any difference, did it? What? I haven't done anything different. Mm. Oh, what? you didn't put that uh you didn't put that uh Indian spice in there, yeah, did you? Did you? Yeah, just I just didn't put as much. Oh, okay. I went light this morning. Mm. But you can add some more. No, no, it's it's more fajita light today. Mm. Mm. Yesterday's mushrooms marinated for about four hours. These only marinated for a few minutes while I was chopping up all the vegetables. Mm -hmm. I really can't tell the difference. Mm -mm. 
marinate or not marinate, um, it's not going to make any difference. Yeah. Mm. It's probably because you're grilling it, right? It's, yeah. all just, it's all just just there, just getting in there. Uh, uh, yeah. uh. Mm. 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 It's falling apart. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. what you look like when you eat. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. It's hard not to space out. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm so glad there's enough makings for two. Oh yeah. Four, whatever. The tortillas are in the fridge. Mm. Oh. I'm sorry to be rude. But I don't want this to get cold. I, I want to finish it. I'm gonna. I want to give this fajita all the respect that it deserves because it's really good. <laughs> respect the fajita. That's right. Oh, fajita. I love you. Mmm. I love Tex Mex. Mmm. Mmm. You don't want to? Another one? No. I mean, I do, but I'll do it after the show. Oh, right. Well, I'm just gonna put it. Mm. Yeah. My fajita's falling out. Mmm. 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 Two more bites. Hold on. Gosh, I love grilled onions. Yeah, they make it. The sweetness of the onions and the smokiness of the mushrooms. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you what, I'm not missing anything. Living plant based, I don't miss anything. Last bite. barbecue sauce and the smoky green sauce barbecue sauce yogurt mayo video from last from last week watch that uh, well there's not much to watch because I'm just yapping but go underneath that video grab those recipes that was the smoky green sauce I doubled it but and then this morning's tip was if you put the sambal ulik or the sweet chili paste in that smoky green sauce, run it through your Vitamix to chop up those pepper flakes, and then that way you can get it in the squeeze bottle and you won't have any clogging. Okay? Cha-ching! And then um, you can keep that on your counter. You don't have to refrigerate it if you don't want to. Um, and then use that to marinate your mushrooms. The... I use just like one package that uh, like the little eight ounce uh, carton of sliced mushrooms this morning I used an onion you know about a two two inch two and a half inch diameter sweet yellow onion slice that up I already told you about the greens had a nice fresh avocado some fresh tomato fresh cilantro fresh lemon juice fresh baby fresh that's it. There you go. Y'all just have fun with it, okay? All right. <clears throat> We're going to go stuff our face some more. I love y'all. Thank y'all for being on, and I will see y'all tomorrow morning. I have no idea what we're going to cook then, or if we're going to cook or talk. I don't know. Living on the edge, baby. Surprise, surprise. All right. I love y'all. I'm going to see y'all later. Bye.